Hello, everybody. I am so, so, so sorry for this mix up. <clears throat> I was uh, given the wrong link, but that's okay. Please join me here. I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> we are going to talk about expected topics <clears throat> in net based on previous year questions. There are guys, many authors and works that are repeatedly asked in net. Expected topics. I'm so sorry that I kept you waiting, but starting from now, for the next five days, we will talk about the very important authors and areas that are asked in net and set. Jane Austen is one. Always in net, there will be a question or two from Jane Austen. Jane Austen has written many important novels. They might ask you from the minor novels also. Jane Austen was born in Steventon in Hampshire, where her father, who was also her tutor, was a clergyman. Jane Austen was born in Steventon as the daughter of a clergyman and uh, after his retirement, they moved to Bath. They moved to Bath. Mistake here, yeah. And then Jane Austen was very close to her sister and mother. She lived in Southampton and Chawton and died in Winchester. Now we will look at all the major works of Jane Austen. Major as well as minor. Love and Friendship, you might know, is one of the early novels of Jane Austen. It's a burlesque of Richardson. She made fun of Richardson. In Love and Friendship, Jane Austen is making fun of Richardson in a burlesque. It was written when she was only 15 years old. She was so young, only 15. That is when uh, she wrote Love and Friendship. I'm fine, guys. Just listen to me. I'm fine. Now, it's not because I'm tired. Now, remember, guys, in these early novels, Jane Austen shows sentimentality, uh, shows a criticism of sentimentality. In these early novels, she critiques sentimentality, not only in Love and Friendship, but also in Northanger Abbey and Sense and Sensibility. Love and Friendship, early novel, then Northanger Abbey, then Sense and Sensibility. In all these novels, she critiques sensibility. Northanger Abbey was published posthumously, but it was the first novel that she wrote first. That she, first proper novel that she wrote. <laughs> I am okay, guys. There is no problem. Just listen to me. Let us study a few things. Northanger Abbey, first written proper novel. But first published novel is Sense and Sensibility. Sense and Sensibility, earlier title is Eleanor and Marianne. Eleanor and Marianne. Then Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice is very famous. You have to know the story. You have to know the details, they might ask. Original title is First Impressions. Original title is First Impressions. I am fine, guys. There is nothing wrong. 
I was just emotional because half an hour is wasted. 20 minutes, I couldn't join you. And I was wrong in the law. I was live in the wrong link. So I was emotional. That's all. <laughs> I'm not tired. Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice opening line, you know, you know, it was begun as an epistolary novel. Then Mansfield Park is a Cinderella story. What do you mean by Cinderella story? Cinderella story means there is a poor girl, rich relatives, that kind of fairy tale story. Mansfield Park is Cinderella story. There are fairy tale elements in Mansfield Park. In many novels of Jane Austen, there are fairy tale elements. Then there is Emma. Emma is a novel set in Highbury. Emma is trying to get uh, her friend Harriet Smith married. She does not listen to, like I'm not listening to you when you say, don't teach, sleep, take rest. I'm not listening. Like that, Emma is also not listening to George Knightley. Emma is not listening to George Knightley. Finally, she learns her lesson. That is Emma. I hope I won't learn my lesson because I'm not listening to you. <laughs> okay, then persuasion. Last novel, it has the oldest heroine, Anne Elliot of Kellynch Hall. Okay, now asking your questions. I have made awesome questions today and I was eager to ask you. That's why I'm teaching. Upper cross. Have you heard of upper cross, Bolo? Upper cross, the large Somerset estate appears in which novel? Bolo. <laughs> Upper Cross, the large Somerset estate appears in which novel? It is a big estate. And no, no, no. They are relatives of people in Kellynch Hall. They are relatives of people in Kellynch Hall. Bolo, bolo. Kellynch Hall is very poor. People in Kellynch Hall, Sir Walter Elliot in Kellynch Hall is so sad because Upper Cross is so big. Yes, guys, it is persuasion. I forgot to mark. Okay, let me mark here. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I am the student and you are all my teachers. You are all my teachers scolding me all the time. And I am the student who is saying, Zriddi Human. I am saying, I want to teach. I want to teach. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play in YouTube live. And you're not letting me. Are. <laughs> so now, Lady Denim appears in. Lady Denim appears in. Lady Denim appears where? The Denims. The Denims, are they in North Angarabi? Are they in Mansfield Park? Are they in Sanditon? You can't stop me. Nobody can stop me. I will play in YouTube. Play. YouTube is my playground. <laughs> yes. There is no Lady Denim in North Anger Abbey. There is no Lady Denim in Mansfield Park. There is Lady Denim in Sanditon. Lady Denim is in Sanditon. Sanditon or Sanditon. Guys, tell me, will you like the video, guys? Please like the video, guys.
Bolo, next question. Shall I mark, shall I mark the answer for you? It is Sandy Dang. Da -da -da. Then, which Jane Austen character says, till this moment, I never knew myself. Bolo, which Jane Austen character says, till this moment, I never knew myself. I'm so sorry, I was late, Harshika. Some link problem. It is Elizabeth Bennet. You know, guys, the most important quality of Elizabeth Bennet. The most important quality of Elizabeth Bennet is that. What is it? It is that she is ready to learn from her mistakes. She is ready to learn from her mistakes. She is ready to change. That is the important quality of Lady, no, not Lady, of Elizabeth Bennet. Okay, so after she realizes the truth of Darcy, she is saying, oh, till this moment, I never knew myself. Wow. This is a mo an ex example for anagnorisis. Guys, this is an example for anagnorisis or discovery. Ta -da -da! The parties in Emma give opportunities for expressing dash. There are many parties in Emma. Emma, four or five parties are there. These give opportunities for dash. Tell me, is it reconciliation between characters? Is it vanities and intrigues? Is it humor and lighthearted fun? Bolo. Anjali, I am also late. I started half an hour late. Firbi, people waited for me. Thank you. And Anjali, as soon as I started, they started scolding me. I am a child here. I don't like it. I come to play in YouTube and you don't allow me. Yes, correct. Many of you said it right. Shikha Sharma said it right. The parties in Emma give opportunities for expressing vanities and intrigues. They are gossiping. They are, uh, you know, causing trouble to each other. It is vanities and intrigues. The parties in Emma give opportunities for vanities and intrigue. Will you remember? Will you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following does Catherine Marland read? Oh, yo, yo. Which of these does Catherine Marland read? Does she read Pope and Gray? Does she read Shakespeare? Does she read Gothic novels? Tell me, does she read Pope and Gray? Do you know? Does she read Shakespeare? Do you know? Does she read gothic novels? Anjali, the best way to cover English literature in one month is to buy the English literature course. Are, I tricked you guys. I tricked you guys. This is a trick question, guys. Catherine Morland, Suno, Suno. She reads all of these. Catherine Morland reads all of these. I tricked you. Da -da -da. Okay, guys. Next important author expected topic is T. S. Eliot. Next expected topic is T. S. Eliot. Poet, critic, playwright, pioneer of the modernist movement. He was born in St. Louis in Missouri. He went to Harvard. His formal studies were in philosophy. 
He left America in 1914, settled in London. He edited the Criterion and won Nobel Prize in 1948. Tadadang, T.S. Eliot. Did you remember, will you remember? St. Louis in Missouri, went to Harvard University, studied philosophy, left America, went and settled in London, became a British citizen, converted to Anglicanism in which year? In 1927. Edited the Criterion, won Nobel Prize in 1948. Tadadang, Nobel Prize. Then guys, next. What are his important works? T.S. Eliot's important works. What are they? The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. In his 1919 collection, Poems. There is the poem, Gerontian. In 1920 came the sacred wood. It contained Hamlet and his problems. The sacred wood contained the famous essay Hamlet on, and his problems. How only online I have course now. Offline course is only starting in a few days. Abito, a three months, four months ka online course chal raha hai. Us jis mein 700 people are students. 700 students in one course. Mujhe chahiye 1,000 students. Yes, soon it will be. T.S. Eliot wrote The Sacred Wood, which is a collection of his critical works. Contained Hamlet and his problems. It contained the, and then he published the wasteland in the criterion. After that came, after the wasteland came, the hollow men. If anybody is not seeing clearly, just increase your resolution. Did you know, guys, Eliot wrote many religious poems. The Journey of the Magi, Ash Wednesday, Four quartets. These are his religious poems. Which are the four quartets? Burned Norton, East Coca, Dry Salvages, and Little Gidding. Taradang. Did you know he wrote a lot of prose? The idea of a Christian university. Listen, everybody. The idea of a Christian university. Important prose work by T.S. Eliot. Notes towards a definition of culture on poetry and poets to criticize the critic. These are important prose works. They will ask the guys just to study this PowerPoint, okay? I will cover all the expected authors, expected topics in these five days. In these five days, I, we will cover a lot of major topics. Every day you should come, okay? Then, poetic drama, he wrote. Poetic drama, which are his poetic plays? Sweeney Agonistus. What is the subtitle? Fragments of an Aristophanic Melodrama. Sweeney Agonistus. Fragments of an Aristophanic Melodrama. Then came The Rock. Sweeney Agonistus, The Rock. Tell me, guys, what kind of a play is The Rock? It is a pageant play. Rock is a pageant play. To cover British literature on your own, you have to cover all the major authors and works, Anjali, obviously. Sit down and study 10, 12, 15 hours. Then uh, you will be able to finish. I have done that when I was a student. Then, Murder in the Cathedral, 1935. Murder in the Cathedral came in 1935. It was performed at Canterbury Cathedral. Then, The Family Reunion. The Cocktail Party. The Confidential Clerk. The Elder Statesman. 
these are plays poetic plays where he talks about upper class characters and their hidden secrets upper class characters and their secrets question to you eyes i dare not meet in dreams in death's dream kingdom these do not appear there the eyes are sunlight on a broken column these are lines from sunlight on a broken column did you know that by atia hossein that title is taken from t s eliot bolo bolo eyes i dare not meet in dreams in that dream kingdom these do not appear there the eyes are sunlight on a broken column bolo is it from jerontian is it from the hollow men is it from burnt norton tadadang yes it is from the hollow men the hollow men from there sunlight on a broken column that title is taken who is the king of england in the time of becket bolo who is the king of england in the time of becket who is the king of england in the time of becket ayyo i forgot to put the options so sorry guys i will put the options now richard the second richard the third ha abhi ek galat bol deti hu um let me think henry the second i will put henry the second bolo <laughs> who is the king of england in the time of becket अभी तो है ना ठीक ऑप्शन तो अभी ठीक है ना इट इज हेनरी द सेकेंड इट इज हेनरी द सेकेंड टिडैंग 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 विच ऑफ दीज लैंग्वेजेस आर देयर इन द वेस्ट लैंड और इतने सारे लैंग्वेजेस which of these languages are there in the wasteland latin greek italian sanskrit french kon kon se languages hai wasteland mein bolo latin greek italian sanskrit french latin greek italian sanskrit french sahi bole all of these i'm so glad all of these wonderful all of these are there or latin hai greek hai italian hai sanskrit hai french bhi hai ek aur hai kaun sa english <laughs> ek aur hai english bhi tadadang for he is the master criminal who can defy the law he is the bafflement of scotland yard the flying squads despair about whom did eliot write this bolo bolo for he is the master criminal who can defy the law he is the baff bafflement of scotland yard the flying squads despair is it about a cat kabhi nahi hoga is it about a dog is it about a mythical character is it about an outlaw is it about a cat yes guys medavi said it it is about macavity the mystery cat for he is the master criminal he can who can defy the law he said this about macavity the mystery cat tararang it's about a cat of all things 
cat. Which of these is not an essay by T.S. Eliot? Is it romanticism and drama? Rhetoric and poetic drama? The perfect critic? The frontiers of criticism? Bolo! Is it romanticism and drama? Will T.S. Eliot write about romanticism and drama? Is it rhetoric and poetic drama? The perfect critic, the frontiers of criticism. It is romanticism and the drama. It is romanticism and the drama. It is written by John Middleton Murray. Romanticism and drama is by John Middleton Murray. Samuel Beckett -da -da -da. was an Irish-born playwright and novelist, emigrated from Dublin to Paris. As a young man, he was an associate and assistant of James Joyce. He usually wrote in French and translated his own work into English. And he revolutionized the theater and the novel. Will you remember, guys? Now, guys, ore, look at the works that Samuel Beckett wrote. He wrote poetry, horoscope. He wrote echoes, bones, and other precipitates. Echoes, bones, and other precipitates. What is the word is the poetry collection by Samuel Beckett. What is the word is a uh, poetry collection. Then short stories he wrote, which are his short story collections Bolo. More pricks than kicks. Stories and texts for nothing. Stories and texts for nothing. Worst word ho. So no guys, look at what he wrote. Worst word, worst word nahi. Worst word ho. Will you remember these titles, guys? And they go. Taradang fiction behaves ka. Malai, Malone dies, unnameable. This is a trilogy of novels by Samuel Beckett. Molloy, Malone dies and unnameable. Have you heard of this one? Dream of fair to middling women. Dream of fair to middling women. Murphy novel. What novel? How it is novel. These are all anti-novels. Okay, guys. Anti-novels. And he wrote Mercier and Camier. Mercier and Camier. Okay. Ta -da -da drama. An attendant godo. Oh, originally written in French. Then written in English. Act without words. It is drama by Beckett. Did you know that, guys? Drama by Beckett. Act without words. Then end game. Then came Crap's last tape. Then came Rough for theater. Then came Happy Days. Waiting for Godot. Act without words. End game. Crap's last tape. Rough for theater. Happy Days. Harshika, when Harshika remembers Murphy, she remembers Burfi. Coconut wala Burfi. Ha, okay. Dekho aur bhi hai. Play is the name of a play by Beckett. 
Did you know that? Originally performed in German. Some of the plays of Beckett were originally performed in German. Come and go, originally performed in German. Then breath, not I, that time, footfalls. You have to remember some of these titles they might ask. Will you remember guys? Now questions to you. Are you ready for questions? At which age is crap listening to the tapes of the past? At which age is crap listening to the tapes of the past? Is it 69, 49, 39, which 39? <laughs> I said, which T9? At which age is crap listening to the tapes of the past? It is 69. 69. He is listening at 69. And he is listening to the tapes of his 39th page. In the present, he is 69. In the past, it is 39. Did you understand, guys? Sanjana, you have to contact our office, Sanjana. Which of the following is not included in Beckett's stories and texts for nothing? Which of the following is not included in Beckett's Stories and texts for nothing. Is it the expelled, the calmative, the end, the dead? Bolo, which of these is not there in Beckett's stories and texts for nothing? It's a collection of three stories. The expelled, the calmative, the end, the dead. Yes, guys, the dead. The dead is from Dubliners. The dead is from Dubliners. Which character in Waiting for Godo keeps saying he wants to go? Which character in Waiting for Godo keeps saying he wants to go? Is it Vladimir? Is it Estragon? Is it Lucky? Or is it Pozo? Which of these characters keeps saying he wants to go? It is Estragon. Estragon, who commented on the play Waiting for Godot? Nothing happens twice. Who said nothing happens twice? Is it Roland Barth, Morris Blanchard, Vivian Mercier, Ezra Pound? Can you tell me? It is Vivian Mercier. Vivian Mercier. Who in Endgame keeps telling the same story? Is it Ham? Is it Clove? Is it Nag? Or is it Nell? One question from Samuel Beckett is always there in ex exams. It is Nag who says the same story over and over again. What is the most valuable possession of ham? Is it sugar plum? Is it a stuffed dog? Is it a broken watch? Is it a piece of stale bread? What is the most valuable possession? 
it is a stuffed dog it is a stuffed dog so jane austen t s eliot samuel beckett all are important raymond williams charadang raymond williams was born in a working class family in wales he was a cultural and literary theorist working class family in wales a cultural and literary theorist then he was he joined the communist party fought in the first world war he joined the communist party fought in the second world war not first second world war he wrote culture and society in 1958 culture and society it was inspired by t s eliot's notes towards the definition of culture and raymond williams was against the prevalent notion of high spiritual culture okay priyanka congrats priyanka i will never forget you priyanka i will always remember you raymond williams asserted culture is a whole way of life culture is a whole way of life he said culture means the arts and learning culture means the arts and learning he traced the evolution of a general human culture a general human culture the related concept culture is ordinary also raymond williams will you remember then the long revolution he wrote title refers to a revolution in culture that is coming in the future okay then he talked about lived culture recorded culture traditional culture lived culture is what is what we are living now recorded culture is how it is recorded in text traditional culture is what has been practiced for a long time ideal culture is there ideal culture is perfect culture documentary culture is intellectual culture that is recorded in books social culture is there that is what we live then raymond williams wrote communications he believed that communications is a major way in which reality is continually formed and changed then he talked about country and the city in that book he talks about how concepts of the countryside symbolize socio economic changes socio economic changes under industrialization and capitalism are reflected in the countryside and the city yes then keywords raymond williams wrote keywords about all words in cultural studies marxism and literature that is where he coined the term cultural materialism are you following me guys he talked about cultural materialism what is cultural materialism it is the inter it studies the interrelationship between culture and context the interrelationship between culture and context tell me guys what is raymond williams's word for the clearly visible aspects of our lifestyle and practices raymond williams's word for the clearly visible aspects of our lifestyle and practices is it dominant culture ideal culture documentary culture none of these which of these is it dominant culture clearly visible aspects what we are doing now what is visible in our culture yes that is dominant culture what is clearly visible in our culture what we are doing now that is dominant culture 
All right, guys, one more question to you. Raymond Williams sees communications as dash. What does he see communications as? Raymond Williams sees communications as abstract, modern, material, materialistic. Which of these is correct? He sees communications as material. He sees communications as material. Did you understand? Communication is about material aspects of culture. It is not abstract. It is not anything else. It is about material aspects of culture. Money is involved. Materialistic is different. Material, materialistic is kuch agala, kuch alag hai. Materialistic means you are interested in money. You are greedy. That is the meaning. It is material. Okay, from Anita Desai, we will do it tomorrow. I will do literature and criticism and theory all, every day. You should, without fail, join me because you will definitely get questions from this uh, session. Okay, this is very important. And after that, we'll do paper one also like this. Okay, so every day, please join me. Tomorrow, I won't mess up. I will come at 10 o'clock. Today, sorry for being late. Okay, so it's all over for today. See you tomorrow. Will you join me tomorrow? Did you like the session? When I come online, you should not scold me, okay? I feel so bad when you scold me. Are, man, I, wa I was so eager to come. No, I will teach you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Love you all.